Well, our next guest became famous as part of one of the most successful singing groups in the world. But now Ray Acevedo is all grown up and making a name for himself as a solo artist. Ray, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me here and thank you for all the people for watching. Yeah, today. now a lot of our viewers at home, you probably recognize Ray from his time in Menudo. So how yes, is well. how has that transition been to go from childhood to adulthood in the music and entertainment mm -hmm. industry? Well, um, it's been it's been quite a journey, you know. I mean, I, uh, I kind of separated myself when I left Menudo from from, from music itself, I did. Um, I went to New York and did acting. You know, uh, I love theater. I also love painting. So I'm like, you know, I'm, I was all over the place. And um, you know, it's been uh, what three years that I've been. Uh, I said, you know, my fans in uh, Facebook and through all the social media, they were like, oh my God, you got to come back. You got to do something. So I kind of like took it upon myself to to come back as a singer. And it is difficult. It is a you know, it is a very uh, competitive. We were talking about it. It's very competitive and very. Uh, there's a lot of good stuff happening out there. So. But I love it, you know, this is what I do. Now you have so many different uh, avenues and, and right. different platforms with mm -hmm. Facebook and social media and right. more TV networks. Mm -hmm. There's really more avenues for you right. to explore out there. Tell us about your new solo song. Uh, La Vie en Paris, uh, which is Addictive Love. That song is awesome. I mean, I love that song. The story is about this uh, uh, girl that I met on a bar in France and uh, basically um, I had to leave the bar and then to make a phone call when I came back, she was gone. So I wrote a song that night Wow. And, uh, you know, I write songs in the way where I write, like, you know, some fantasy, some true to mm -hmm. it. You know, I take other people's history, uh, stories as well, uh, as well as mine. And I kind of, like, combine those things. I'm never, like, a straight shooter when it comes down to, to writing uh, like that. But um, so, so that's La Vie en Paris is about that, you know, it's a co that combination of, of fantasy and reality. What's it like now in the industry that you're an adult? Do you have more control over your work? Yes, I do. I mean, it's it's you know it's a it's a double-edged knife, you know, because uh, with a record label, obviously you have the networking and mm -hmm. the power behind it. But uh, this way, without a record label or with the independent, uh, you know, artists, now you have so much, you know, uh, avenues and venues to, to play your music, ways to contact yourself, ways to do things yourself. So I guess it's a it's a very happy medium. We still need the record labels, though. We still need them. You know, we still need them to to be there, but. Uh, it's 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 a very it has changed a lot basically. Wow. Uh, I, I love it. I mean, it's a challenge. Everything that you do is a challenge. Before it was difficult. Now it's difficult. It's the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> and you're also acting. Do you have any pro yes. uh, projects coming out? Yes, I actually did several projects last year. Uh, I started doing short films uh, with a company called uh, DLE, Distinctive Light, Light Entertainment, having lots of fun doing uh, you know independent movies. And then uh, this year I got cast in, in a couple of like. Actually, you know, good budget movies, and uh, I'm uh, I'm between Orlando, Atlanta, and New York. Oh I my have goodness! A couple of agents, and I'm just like you know taking classes, and I love acting as well. You know, I, I was in theater for a while, mm -hmm. so it's acting is another passion of mine. But you know, I'm focusing on the on the music and the acting. I, I can't sp you know spread myself too thin, you know. And then paint on the side when you need a release. Well, actually, <laughs> I haven't painted in a long time, and I've been feeling it, you know, because painting is something that I do. It's like writing, you know. Mm -hmm. It's like something that it's a necessity that you almost have, you know. Uh, so I, I left it to the side because I, you know, it's 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 a lot of time. You know, when I paint, I don't I don't talk to anybody. I don't, you know, I, I'm a. You're in you the know, zone. Right, I'm in the zone, <laughs> but for weeks. You wow. Know, and right now I cannot afford to do that. You know. You I, have I, a busy schedule for yes, sure. Yes. Yes. Well, also real quick, one of our coworkers, mm -hmm. Felicia Rodriguez, is a huge fan. Could you look into the camera and give her a shout out? Yeah, Felicia. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, lots of love to you, and I uh, hope to meet you pretty soon, okay? You owe me, Felicia. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for Thank being you here. For Pleasure having me to meet you. Good luck on your new journey. Good luck Thank with your you. solo album. We'll be